Hey guys, Chris from Revival Cycles here, working on our Alloy Guzzi build. 1977 Moto Guzzi T3 was the basis. You've probably seen it in a couple other Revival dailies we've shot here. But we just finished wiring this motorcycle and I'd like to show you a few of the components we use on the bike and just the functionality of these components. Starting at the back of the bike, we've got a, an anti-gravity 12 cell battery. This is a Revival Cycles built battery mount. We fabricated it in-house. We've also added one of our anti-gravity battery trackers to it as well. This battery tracker app, it's really cool. It shows you the actual battery voltage. It shows you charging system voltage, allows you to load test your, your electrical system. And it's really inexpensive for all the, the functionality that it has. We've added a, a few main fuses here at the back of the bike. The M unit is so far forward on this bike. We wanted extra circuit protection. We've made a voltage regulator rectifier mount for our MOSFET regulator rectifier. And that's because we've upgraded our, our charging system to a permanent magnet charging system on this build. Deep inside here, the, the frame are supernova LED turn signals. Just wanted more visibility on the back of this bike. We've got C5 ignition. These are really cool ignition systems. Great upgrade for the Moto Guzzi. The engine on this bike has been converted to dual plug heads. So we've got dual terminal coils mounted here inside the frame. Also another unique feature to this bike is it has a map sensor, basically a vacuum switch, which will automatically change ignition timing maps depending on how much load is on the engine. This bike was originally fitted with an M unit V2. The M unit V2 still has uh, circuit breaker protection for each circuit. It still has LEDs signifying which circuit is on if there is a fault and still allows you to not have high power current flowing through your handlebars. Speaking of handlebars, this bike's fitted with a set of revival push buttons. And we've also fitted a Moto Gadget M-Lock here in the factory Moto Guzzi ignition cylinder. This allows it to look like the factory ignition, but underneath there you'll see a Moto Gadget M-Lock. On this bike, our client wanted to have a vintage look and feel, and he's kept that with the 70s era Veglia mechanical tachometer. So we CNC machined a stainless steel bracket, fitted it with LED lights to signify left turn, right turn, all your indicators that you'd have. This motorcycle is also getting a LED headlight as well. Let me show you the functionality of the M unit and all the electrical systems on this bike. So swipe our RFID receiver by the M lock and now the bike is powered up. I can see the LEDs run here. Left turn signal right turn signal, Moto Gadget emblaze turn signals. To turn on the lights is a quick press, to turn on the high beam is a two second press, and to turn the lights all the way off is a four second press. And so now all the lights are off, and to turn them back on, tap the button. I've got my license plate light on back here. Hit the turn signal again. Yeah, rear turn signal's working. Right turn signal. This bike is fitted with a neutral safety switch. So right now I've got my neutral safety switch unhooked. So I'm gonna squeeze the clutch. It has a clutch bypass switch. Starter's working. Uh, my safety switch is working. Since this bike was a, a full rewire, we also used one of our Revival Cycles wiring kits for all the electrical components, connecting them together our loom kit and heat shrink kit so that it's a really tidy, really professional finish once it's all done. This bike's gonna be fitted with our cloth spark plug wire leads. These are installed for mock-up purposes right now until the engine goes in. Uh, but again, trying to keep the vintage look of this bike even though it does have a lot of modern touches to it. Every electrical component that we've used on this build is available for purchase on our web store. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting, 
and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.